Right, so let's start out with a parts list. So here's your outlet, your receptacle. This is a 50 amp uh, receptacle, pretty typical for um, car chargers. Now, you know, when you go into the store, you'll notice there'll be um, different types of 50 amp. Like you'll see one where this part is straight and you'll see one where this part is actually like an L. So keep in mind, look at your, look at your charger cord and make sure you buy the the uh one that's compatible so this is the outlet and let me show you the back of the outlet the back of the outlet as you can see it has two hots a red and a black and one neutral there's your hots there's your neutral and your ground so that terminates fairly easy and this is the wire you're going to be needing. Six gauge wire is for a 50 amp breaker. The number three stands for the number of conductors, excluding the ground. Conductors meaning the red, the black, and the white. And the ground is probably going to be bare. This one in this picture is actually insulated. And here's your uh, breaker. Now you just want to make sure your breaker, you get the right type. This particular type is a... Um, H O M type. You may have a BR type. You know, look at your type. This also has the brand on it, which is a square D symbol there. So get your type and brands. Open your main panel up. Look at all your breakers. Look for the type and the brand. You can kind of go from there to make sure you get the same one. I use a slightly different one in this video, which I'll show you here shortly. You may need one of these. This here is a single gang meaning one outlet um, old works box meaning the drywall is already there if your drywall is not there then you get a new works box and I get the 20 cubic um, inches because there's more room if it's bigger grab it but don't get the 14 because it's gonna be less room to work with and then don't forget your plate <laughs> the large opening for your um, large 240 volt receptacle. And you may or may not need some EMT conduit. I use one inch in this video, which I found was big enough to house all those conductors and that cable. So yeah, and of course your fittings needed. So let's jump into the location where I'll be installing the charger outlet. So I started out at the panel. I drilled a hole, I took the cover off, I drilled a hole through the metal and through the wall inside the garage and I put this little three quarter inch uh, grommet just to protect the wires as they go through little sharp edges so, or eliminate the sharp edges. As you can see there and on the other side of that I put a box, a plastic box basically like a pull box so I can make a turn that, that number six wire is really thick I'm gonna go straight up with a piece of conduit um, so you can kind of get a close-up there I think that's like a four by four box and then as you can see there I have a 50 foot reel of six gauge wire um, there's three conductors in there with a ground a bare ground um, so two hots one neutral on the ground size six i just kind of pushed it through the attic i drilled a hole right above that box as you can see there i kind of stuffed it in the attic and uh, i'm going to basically go in the attic and pull it so on the other side of the garage where the outlet's going to be going i cut my square hole and uh i kind of ran some fish rods up the wall to the attic so when i did go up there i was able to find out where that was and use that to help me fish the wire back down into the garage so this is me already with the wire fished through but let me go in the attic and show you you can see there where i had the wire pushed through kind of bundled up and i kind of pulled it from left to right of the screen and then uh, the wall was actually the parallel wall across the garage and uh luckily there was no top plate no top two by four it was just open that cavity of the wall so it made it much easier as you can see here kind of I just kind of stuffed it down there using the fish rod to help me uh, fish it down the wall. 
and down coming outside of the attic so reason why we chose that wall because it's closest to the outlet the port of the tesla and that little rod as you see coming out of the right of the screen that's a fish rod they're flexible but they're sturdy enough to help you know push um here is a blue box that particular box is a old works box new works box has nails that you hammer into the studs this here is kind of designed after the drywall is already installed so i drilled a hole at the top of the box i actually recommend it drill it further back you'll see why <laughs> later but yeah so i drilled a hole at the top remember drill it towards the back rather than that location that i did it's for the wire um, so you can terminate your wire to the outlet there and it's kind of hard to get that box back into the wall if that wire is um, close to the front so that's why you want it towards the back and um, yeah so that is how you are going to terminate your outlet inside that box and that part is pretty easy um, as you can see there and on the other side the back of the main panel that box you can now see how i have the wire coiled up and now you see why i had that big box there because that wire that wire uh it's tough to you know tough to bend it needs kind of like a lot of room to make a turn so and then i ran a piece of pvc directly up out of that box into the ceiling and i strapped it to the stud in the wall which you can't see and that's pretty much it and um Here's a look over here. Uh, you can see the red, the black, and the white wires in the ground. Those are going to get terminated, terminated to the 50 amp receptacle. Here's the inside of the panel. As you can see, I pulled the wire through. And um, let me show you the breaker. So this breaker is maxed out. So I went to, so I purchased, um, as you can see, I chose two 20 amp uh, spots spots and i'm going to replace them with um this here tandem style breaker as you can see it takes up two spots and i'm replacing uh two 20 amp locations with this here um combo breaker which has it has two 20s and two 50s on there so the uh, tesla charger is going to go in the two center screws and the two outlights outside screws are the original circuits that once were in that spot so this is another way to kind of free up some space or in your uh, panel, especially when it's maxed out. So that gets landed there. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you um, install a um, car, let your car charger. This also will run your ARV. Um, yeah, so you want to do six gauge wire, 50 amp breaker and a 50 amp rated receptacle and um you can charge your car on a 30 or a 20 but it takes longer to charge and of course you need the adapter so yeah that's pretty much how i did it um wasn't too bad um uh, i definitely recommend obviously a licensed electrician do this for you but um uh, figure i share this to the uh average homeowner just so they can kind of have an idea um about how it's done if they're going to do it themselves or possibly hire somebody so yeah thanks for watching and i hope this was at least a little bit informational justin out